Innovation is not just about conjuring new ideas. It is the ability to see change as an opportunity. Greetings to one and all present here. We students are the future of this world and we are the ones who will have to take over the reins of the world when we grow up. If a student of today has to thrive tomorrow and to carve a niche for themselves in the competitive and dynamic world the future holds for us, they will have to be innovative, creative, intuitive and collaborative because these are the qualities they will be prized for and that would set them apart from not only each other but even advanced technologies. Am I confusing you all? Let me share a small anecdote with you. During the COVID-19 times, when we were all adjusting to the new normal, my sister Trisha and I found it absolutely difficult to be restricted into our homes. This is because both of us have always been creative problem solvers and we love bringing positive change around us, which is something we couldn't do during the lockdown. The lockdown cut our lines with our school's research and design room and the creative ideas that we worked upon over there. While discussing about this with our friends, we realized this was a challenge a lot of students around us faced. People were not able to find a good outlet to let out their ideas. We came up with an initiative and with the help of our school's research and design head, Ms. Mari Ramos, we managed to implement it. Our own Innovates was a platform for students right from primary to senior school, where they were allowed to express their creative side. They were given monthly challenges every month, where they were allowed to brainstorm, find solutions to ideas that weren't existing on global issues such as in designing a city on Mars, sustainable communities, cybersecurity, etc. At the end of every month, they were awarded with certificates like the Innovator of the Month, certificates, honorable mention badges that were just to make them feel that they were going on the right path. We started this initiative in June 2020 and we really did not know what to expect back then. But we really got a positive response from a category we least expected it from, the primary and kindergarten students. We had 3,500 plus blog views and 80 plus ideas on the first challenge itself. We had such mind-boggling ideas that came up from the least expected areas. We had a student who designed a COVID super defensive jacket. And believe me, this was just a KG student. The senior school students designed and invented an AI-operated arm for the physically disabled. This initiative that started as a small platform for students ended up becoming an innovation hub for the students of our own Dubai. And before we knew, we had creative students aiding change around them, going by the very ideology my sister and I shared for the platform, that we are the creators of a new world. So what are we waiting for? It's now time that we the take over the world. It's time we show our maturity to solve current issues, to show and bring about change around us. Because in a world where climate change wrecks havoc in economies, societies, where trust on international cooperation is completely failing, where unemployment and inequalities are rampant, what can help us believe that 2030 would be a better place to live in? Of course, it's us, the youth. If we don't bring about change now, we would be ending up becoming another set of past generation which did nothing when they had the chance to do so. Malala Yousafzai started to, was short at the age of 15 for merely vouching for her rights for education. Greta Thunberg started going for climate change strikes at the age of 15. Gitanjali Rao was awarded Time Magazine's Kid of the Year at the age of 16 for her contributions in the field of science. All of these examples clearly defy a statement that we've heard growing up. Today's child is tomorrow's citizen. Why wait for tomorrow? Why wait for someone else to ask us to bring about change? Today's youth is more optimistic about their future than any of the previous generations have ever been. This is because they're confident in their ability to bring about change. A UN Youth Reports compilation of case studies 
say that yet today have already started bringing about changes around them. From a climate change strike in the Arab region to a reproductive movement in the southern Africa region. Youth today has started bringing about change around them because they know that if not now, then never. So, it's time we change our mindsets. It's time that we start believing that age is merely just a number. You might never know that even a small idea in a child's mind, a small curious question, could have the ability and power to completely transform the world. Thank you.